Meanwhile, the president is promising some mass deportations come next week. The irony is that deportations under him have actually been less than under Barack Obama, and uh, yet uh, there, there's no one's really laid a glove on President Obama. Be that as it may, a former Republican governor of New Mexico, Susana Martinez, uh, back with us. Governor, very good to have you. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. You know, it's, it is interesting. I guess it's the prospect where the president talks about the deporting millions of illegals here that, that gets the eye-popping headline. But in reality, his deportations are far fewer than Barack Obama. No one mentions that. But what do you make of that? You know, it's just the hypocrisy of the Democrats in Congress and, of course, the liberal media. They don't want to focus in and really do some factual comparisons between what President Trump is proposing to do and will do compared to what President Obama did do, and the numbers were much bigger in their deportations. And so, again, it's just that liberal thinking, cutting up facts into a way that fits into their, their story. Uh, President Trump is not going to take his eye off the ball. He made a promise to make sure that there was going to be reform in immigration, and it's going to be done. So how does he do that? Though? Let's say he wants to pull off what he says, and that is to get millions of illegals already here deported. Uh, Who's going to do that? How do you do that? Uh, you know, uh, just the optics alone could be challenging. What do you recommend? It, you know, the, there is a law very specific that says you cannot hire illegal immigrants and that there's a process to verify, uh, e-verify and making sure that those individuals you're hiring are legally in the country, whether a visa, work visa, whatever it may be, or an American citizen. But, you know, they can go into businesses. They can make sure that they are not hiring illegals and they can deport those individuals. You cannot come to this country and violate the laws of our nation. We are a nation of borders. And so to enforce those laws that Congress passed, if they don't like it, change it. But they're going to enforce it. ICE is going to be the ones to enforce those laws for being in the country and then eventually being deported. But it's a but tough, it's a tough task, right? Be uh, it, because when I raised this with the Border Patrol Chief Carla Provost, I asked her specifically about Alexander Ocasio Cortez's concentration camps remark at the, at the border. Here's what she had to say. Recently, a member of Congress has referred to those detention centers as concentration camps. Uh, would you care to comment on that matter? I personally find them offensive. My men and women, as well as the men and women in ICE, uh, uh, are doing the best that they can with the limited resources that they have. All right, I apologize. That was not from my interview. Uh, but, but you get the just what uh, saying that the, she and others I've talked to on this subject find the comment very offensive. Nevertheless, you got to wonder uh, if we were to crack down on this, if for whatever justification to separate those who are here illegally, uh, the images don't look good, right? You know, it, again, I, I don't, to, to say that they're anything close to being a concentration camp is more than offensive. I mean, it's outrageous. It's not a, it's a lack of understanding your history. Um, these are people who walk up to the Border Patrol. I've been there. They hold up their hands and they say, I am coming willingly to you, to the Border Patrol, knowing you're going to detain me. There's no kind of forced labor. They're not being starved. They're not. No, you're I mean, right. It's night and day, and it, it just seems like a silly comment to make. But I am wondering, Governor whether she should have apologized. She's actually doubled down on it. And I'm wondering, what, uh, what do you make of that? You know, um, sometimes you can't uh, give a good explanation for stupidity. You just can't. And to make such a comparison is right in that category. And to double down on it uh, and to be supported by those liberal Democrats, um, I mean, it, it, you're ju they're just not wanting to separate themselves from that which is not factual. It, it, is, it is so uh, offensive to those who suffered and died uh, in the concentration camps. Um, I, um, I, you know, I've been down to the border. I've seen what they do. I've seen 60 percent, almost 60 percent of the Border Patrol agents are actually changing diapers, warming up food, making sure the children have blankets and families and they're kept together in a tent. And I mean, they are hard working men and women doing a job that is not defined for them. Yeah, they weren't hired to be to be doing what they're doing, right? Um, Governor, it's always no, they're not. it's very good having you. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you, sir.